Ladies and gentlemen, Sidestrafe and Elbrook back with some more Day Z. Hello. And he's doing the peekaboo. I am. He's stretching. But, stretching uh. For a good mission. Oh, yeah, stretching it out. So we. You need to, you need to be prepared to get shot in the face by. Yeah, bandits. I, I, gotta, I gotta be limber. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's see, what's the story so far? We had to. We tried to rejoin our last server, but it seems that they. Uh, switched over to Lingor, so we found a different server that was running the Mollusk. We Indeed. ended up being fresh spawns. I found a crowbar, and Elbrook has a story as well. I was trying to meet up with uh, Sidestrafe, and uh, as I was running parallel to the road, this massive like cargo truck came like tearing through the wilderness, and I thought, all right, well, this is it. This is, <laughs> this is going to end badly. This is, is going to happen. And uh, anyway, guy popped out. Uh, with a gun pointed at my face. I uh, started to run away. Turned out he was friendly, him and a buddy. They offered to give me a ride, but it turns out uh, I was already where I needed to be, <laughs> and so they offered me a weapon, and I was sent on my way, so hats off to whoever the friendly gentlemen were that gave me an MP5. And so we met up, and here we are post uh, fresh server restart, apparently. Server just restarted for us, so. Yeah. I'm about to, I'm about to, uh, I'm, I'm rather parched, actually. Let me grab a drink. Yeah, I have the one, uh, Coke in the backpack. Oh, wait, it's, well, it's in my main inventory. It's in your front pack. Yes. Although, this didn't work last time. Try now. All right. Opening pack. Ah. Refreshing Coke. I have it. Pop the top on this bad boy. Roger that. Mm -mm. Oh, got a zombie up front. I see. Might him. be able to melee him. Cause I All think right. we figured out that if you're if you're kneeling, trying to uh, melee is a lot more effective. Although he is on this hill, he's got the high ground. I've got I got my sights trained. Whoa! Oh! Oh! oh. 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 All right. <laughs> well then. Slip and slide. Yeah, you better run. See if Did he has anything on him. Time you got? Wow, that was impressive. That was nothing impressive. on him. I love that. We found out, uh, I think, a few episodes back, that the best thing to do is try to get them to commit suicide like that. Yeah, if there's a, if they come running after you and you're on a cliff, uh, enjoy the show. That's all I gotta say. It is quite spectacular. I don't, I don't know if you got a good shot of that or not, but I, I got a it. Yeah. Seat to that. Yeah, it was like, it was like being dunked on by Jordan. Yeah, it was a bag of it was silly. Amazing. Am I cold? Uh, I'm getting cold, I think. Ah, uh, you're getting cold. It is drizzling a little bit. I don't know if that's contributing or not, but we have I something have. really interesting up here. It looks like the it looks like the train track forks, and there's a bunch of structures. Oh yeah, there's a bridge here too. Yeah, I'm definitely shaking. I do. You're you're shaking too. I am shaking. Well, I do have my one heat pack that I could use. We've got a zombie to the left, by the way. Yeah, so from what we understand, there is sickness and... Oh, he's on me. Oh, he's coming after you. Alright, this isn't working as the last one. Oh, watch out. Crossing lines of oh, bandage yourself. Alright, so... Right, so from apparently from what we've discovered... And I'm bleeding too, I didn't realize, apparently. Oh, fantastic. You guys told us that there is sickness on this map, and obviously uh, heat packs are very important as well. Uh, I don't I don't know if the heat pack is tied to the sickness or not. Like I don't know what up with that, like because we were coughing last episode, so I don't it, I don't know if that's related to a heat pack or if there's some other item or not. I I, I didn't look into it, so I'm a bit unsure. Yeah, it's it's funny just because every I've said this in the last episode, but everything that we everything that we've ever experienced in this mod the heat packs never worked or the temperature never came into effect, so we just weren't used to it. Not on the official map anyway. Yeah, so Irony. Yeah. But uh, here we are, we're gonna try to get in to here and see if we can find anything else. Adam was killed. Oh no. Alright, there's definitely some uh 
quite a few quite a few structures up here I see a position a hole right down here that we can prone through to get inside the perimeter if you want to do it yeah we're definitely going in there just roll those dice just don't break your leg all right what do we got There's lots of... It looks like some kind of train yard or something, kind of, sort of. Or maybe the train track just runs through it, but... Looks like lots of buildings. Oh, lots of zombies as well. Yeah. Alright, okay. let's see. These... Alright, let's start to... Uh, we'll just see if there's anything in these containers, perhaps. Yeah, we need to see what's enterable, accessible. I don't think these are. That one over there looks like it, though. Across the road. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I see it. Empty. Oh, bummer. All right. So a couple others over here. Tin cans. Okay. Suppose I'm gonna go into walk mode because. Yep. I, I got you covered from across. I'm on the opposite side of the road still, so, but. Roger that. Uh, my food indicator is oh, dark I just... red. Okay, I think someone just saw me. One of us. I'm taking evasive maneuvers. Yeah. I want to fire. I don't want to open fire. There's too much going on here. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much surrounded at this point in time. I lost him. But I think I might have aggroed another one. I'm hiding inside these trees. It seems, it seems to have done the trick. I just got to try to see if I can sneak away gracefully. Alright, so far so good. All right, what's your position? Did you you just continue to uh, continue to from the containers? You see me? I do see you. All right. Yeah, that area is clear. There's two uh, wood, like wooden structures to the right. Whiskey bottle. All right. I think Adam's looking for a better spawn. Alas, poor Adam. I feel his pain. Let's see. So someone is on me. This could be interesting. Alright, let's see if I can... I'm going to just go evasive. Oh, they're not? Is this guy... Nope. Alright, here he comes. I think I'm good. I'm, I'm good. <laughs> Trying to hit this guy. There we go. I got him. Got one. Watch out. You got a guy creeping behind you as well. Oh, he's on you. He's on you. No, he's on me. Dang it. It's so... Ah, this melee system is so finicky. I lost... I think I lost him. He's right? on me. Oh, on me. Okay. In. Oh, someone's on me now. Let's just, I killed uh, the last one with such ease, and this one just will not drop. Oh, there's... yeah. So, so glitchy. I'd rather have the cheesiness of the, the melee combat in War Z compared to this glitchiness. At least it works. Right. <laughs> Reliability versus aesthetic. I'm gonna go ahead and go into the wooden structures. Uh, if you... Uh, I think I lost that guy. Alright, there's there's a guy on me, but I'm inside of... I'm running through the uh, buildings to try to lose them. There's a hunting knife in here. Roger that. I can pick this up before he comes in. I've got it. There's a hatchet in this one room, or in this uh, wooden building. Uh, yeah, if you, it, there's zombies. There's zombies in that. Gonna be zombies in that building. Fantastic. Well, uh, go ahead. That's you. Yeah, that's me. Okay. Yeah, I have the hunting knife. Uh. This... Oh wow! He just came through the wall. I'm going inside inside this big building. 
All right, they're coming. One's coming at me. It's got a heat pack. Excellent. And a smoke grenade. There's a guy creeping his way inside here after me. Killed another one. If he has anything. And nope. It's a crawler just crawling by. I think he just crawled into the building. There's another hatchet in here. I'm gonna grab this. I'm gonna grab this hatchet. Uh, or I think somebody should. Come on, how many times do I have to hit that guy with it? Alright, now he's leaving. Get out of my house. <laughs> what is this? Empty tin can, 30 round AK magazine, which I don't need, but I'll take it for now, just in case. And, uh, three bandages. Excellent. Uh-oh. I would love to open fire on this guy, but yeah, I've got I've got three or four mags on this MP5, and I would love a hatchet, but I'm not gonna drop I'm not gonna drop this for it. Even though the MP5 is only uh, a small caliber. But... Just trying to chop some of these guys down as they come into this door. I see you. He's dancing. There you go. Come on across. There's a couple to the left. Oh, there's one crawling right front. We we'll just lose them inside the warehouse. What was in that? Anything? I've only checked the bottom floor so far. There's a hatchet. Makarov mag on the second floor. No, nothing great yet, honestly. It'd be nice to get you a good weapon. I'm just picking up magazines just in case, anyway. But I would really love it if hatchets were a secondary. I mean, you should be able to, you know, put put them on your back and just hit, you know, number two and go to town. Yeah. There's yet another hatchet uh, here as well. Looks like some scrap metal. I haven't investigated the roof yet. There's some angry people. Oh! It's coming through the wall. Oh, no one coming up the steps. It's funny when they make normal, like... Human wants, sound effects. Yeah. He's like, uh, oh, uh, ow, that hurt. Why I've probably that? lost a fair share of blood today. All right. Well, I think there's a whole lot of nothing in here. Uh, I guess we can check the roof, although I think it's probably a futile thing. Yeah, I'll just watch Tile. the stairs for now with my crowbar. I'm shaking still. All right. Looking around, I see nothing. All right. We're done. Building complete. Disappointment successful. Fantastic. Next. Oh. Alrighty. Another walker outside. Crawler, I should say. It's like... Come on. Any day now. This wow. is so unacceptable. Maybe you should trade that out for a uh, hatchet. Or do you do you want my MP5? I'll go grab a hatchet. No, uh, no, no. Okay. I just feel so useless. I, I have a weapon and I... Why? Well, it depends I on how much it. ammo you have. I mean, I usually don't like to fire until we're like in absolute danger, but... I've got four mags. At this point, I'm my blood level isn't that great. Uh-oh. Stuff. If you want to let them have it, go ahead. But uh, I'm just gonna quickly. They're all quickly, spazzing out. I'm just gonna very quickly look around and what's left in these containers, and there's another hatchet. <laughs> and uh, then we'll just we'll bug out of here. I don't know if I'm cold or I need painkillers at this point. I'm not sure. I don't think is there a way to find out, but. The difference? I don't. I don't think there is feedback. I don't think it's. I don't think the UI has 
will distinguish between that. There might be stuff on these scaffoldings, but I can't really take the time to find out. Right. Oh! Rack, where'd that guy come from? Oh, that's a dead end. Let's head out. Let's head out the, uh, the Run end. away! Oh, man, look at you. Yeah, I'm gonna go into the woods. We need food bad. Yeah, we do. We do. I'm, I'm kind of sad that we didn't find anything. Not a single can. I almost wonder if somebody went through there. I'm gonna cap this guy. Roger that. Shaking. Have you taken damage? Not yet. Wow. He's dead. He's still not... <laughs> Finally. <laughs> I think anything that's 9mm in this game is terrible. Well, it's next to impossible to get a headshot with this thing while I'm shaking. I mean, the iron sights on this are bad enough when I'm stable. <laughs> Alright. Oh, I'm coughing. Yep, yeah, my things... I definitely got a well, heat pack now. I took the painkillers. I'm shaking less but i'm still shaking so i think that i got rid of my damage shake and now i'm just cold shaking <laughs> all right well my temperature thing was slashing i just took my heat pack that sorted but one of us is coughing i think it's me yeah now does shelter we have a structure over here help with warmth i thought that that was one of the features that this game was supposed to end up having but Oh yeah? Let's see if we can't uh, find a place to call home and maybe test that out. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely me coughing. I mean, look at where we're at. I mean, yeah, no doubt we're going to be freezing. What is this place? Hmm, interesting. That looks cool over there. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, we're checking this out for sure. I wonder if this is one of the. I wonder if this is maybe this is objective all or the army base. It's one of the two, because I'm almost positive that mountain in the background was where we were last episode. It's possible. Oh, a couple of. Them. Grab something. Walkers up front. Oh, it's dead ahead. Yeah, I see him. See if we can just mosey right on by. That would be nice. Nothing to see here. Let the smear like zombie guts all over us and walk really slowly. Apparently that works. <laughs> I'm sure you of all people get the reference. Just a little bit. A little bit. Let's see. I uh, wanna go. I wanna see what yeah, this is. Yeah, let's go for that little possible that there's things in that, uh, is that a... I think there's a zombie in that little watchtower. The guard tower? There... There is indeed. Great. There's something in there. I think it's a zombie. It's hard to tell. I think we pulled something, possibly from across the way, so I'm going to try to disappear over here so he won't be able to find me. Alright, so nothing on the bottom floor, just some lovely IKEA furniture. Unfortunately, we can't take it with us, so... Alright, I'm going to go up the top level. Okay. And let's see. But, uh... Let's see, hopefully... Yeah, we definitely need some food. Something. Take care when you come back out, because along the fence, along the perimeter, there's three sentries or guards or whatever you would like to call them, patrolling the uh, the wall. Well, I found a heat pack <laughs> and an M249 belt, 200 rounds. Of course. How much is that? How much space does that take up? I'll just hold on to it just in case, but and I'll drop it later if we don't need it. <laughs> oh wait. Uh, I found drinks. Oh, very nice. 
Really need that grubbage though. Things are starting to look bleak. Yeah. Uh, 30 round AK. Uh, do smoke grenades do anything to zombies? Distract them in any way? I remember being told that they distract, but I've I never tested one. that theory. Have one if needed. I would save it for a bad situation. Okay. Well, I can't eat it, unfortunately, so... Why can't I eat the smoke grenade? <laughs> because it's not a solid, son. Oh. Alright, so it looks like there's some kind of, Yeah, there's, there's more structures over here, like another warehouse structure. I wonder if there's anything in those little towers. Yeah, I'm curious. I tried to get on this one of the hills and try to, like, peer up to see if I could catch any. There's another one over here in this corner with two guards just sitting at the base of the ladder. I'm gonna check this one that appears to be clean. Okay. But uh, I kind of wanted to bring up again, I bring this up, I think, almost every episode uh, we've been discussing. Nope, there's nothing in here. We've been uh, discussing War Z a lot mm -hmm. because I keep getting questions about when we're going to play it, yeah. when the both of us are going to... We obviously both own it, but... Uh, we would the, love to. The, the, but. the status of that game is bad, and it's it's more... Pe it's <sighs> There's so many player killers that... Yeah. It's 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 a it's my opinion is it's a deathmatch with zombies more so than even this game has become because I think in that game they haven't opened up the entire map yet so there's a smaller area which means you're going to run into a, uh, a lot more people <laughs> two it's really difficult to get on the same server with a friend so protection is is not easy and uh, it's just a I've been watching a lot of videos, I've been watching a lot of live streams to see what's going on with the community, and literally all I see is... Battlefield. Battlefield or Call <laughs> of Duty with, with zombies and, and having to eat and drink. That's it. <laughs> That's what that game is, and I just, I just don't agree with that. The zombies, even if you go into the main cities, still aren't much of a threat. Uh, some more painkillers. I picked up some myself. That pretty much mirrors my sentiments exactly. And uh, I honestly, I, I want to play the game. But my opinion right now, it's just not worth playing. Uh, uh, why would I? I? I can get the same experience from playing DayZ. And between the two at the moment, uh, I actually think I'd probably have more fun playing DayZ. I mean, at least in this game, mod... And this is at the moment, by the way. This we is can, not a absolute yeah, I mean, verdict. Yeah, I mean, we can pick our server with this one. We can still <laughs> play together easily. Well, not easily, but we can play together easier than we can in, in War Z. Um, but it's just that it seems like because of the developer's attitude towards how they wanted to handle PvP, it seems like... Um, there's a more hostile community in that game so far. And like I said, I saw another video the other day, and I sent it to you as well, and it was literally these two guys just... Their whole thing was like, oh man, I gotta find food. Oh, there's a guy, kill him. Alright, we got him. Alright, you know, and it's just... You saw people almost jumping around and, and, and shooting, bunny hopping. I was like, uh... <laughs> yeah, I, I turned it off. Uh, what I, The first couple minutes was there's two guys running... Uh, down the beach, out in the open, uh, both, you know, kind of loaded out, and, uh, they were, there was some dude way off in the distance, some poor guy just running, and the guy with the sniper just kind of just keeps firing at him until he drops dead, uh, you know, obviously no communication or any attempt like that was made, it was just, I see a guy, he's dead, and then, uh, the guy that killed him gets shot from behind from somewhere, and he turns around, and there's a dude running at him, just charging at him, <laughs> and yep. so he... He like pulls like some COD style quick scope action or whatever and like and drops him and then yep. he, he explodes like a little loot pinata and uh 
they celebrated, and I honestly I wasn't really interested in watching anymore. That's that's when I closed it. That was and, it, and it's not even that we're days. it's not even that we're like afraid of the PvP or something. We play shooter. We've been playing shooters all our life. But that's the thing, it's not a zombie survival game. It's just like it's deathmatch on a larger map, with zombies sprinkled in. I yeah. is not a it's it's stupid is what it is and this game is pretty much the same thing but it's at this point the the the, the world the worlds or maps are so large that the chances of running into people on a regular basis is uh, slim to none and uh, you you can find you know better communities whereas you know war Z is just turning into a cluster of yeah. sorts. I, uh, I, I think my problem really has less to do with, uh, it, it's not about my dislike for the game, it's more about the, it, it kind of amplifies the problems, the gen the problems that I have with the general community of, uh, of that game, because I, if, if I'm looking for a group PvP or, or solo PvP or anything like that, I have plenty of games to pick from. I do not, however, have plenty of games that offer a survivalist approach with an open world to zombie survival. There's very there, there's much fewer games of those than there are of just a game where I can hop in and go try to shoot people. Uh, in fact, a lot of the games that I have that are, you know, multiplayer deathmatch games are games that act, that offer a much more level playing uh, field for that kind of <laughs> combat and are probably much you know, better balance, honestly, uh, for that respect. So, why would I come in here and turn this game into something that, in my opinion, uh, it wasn't intended to be? I mean, sure, you have the ability to, to PvP, uh, and you certainly can, but just because it's accessible, just because you have that opportunity doesn't mean that it is, it is automatically is a PvP-centric game. Right. Uh, th there's so much more to do other than just shoot people in the game, and it seems like most of the people that play the game just they're not interested in that. They just want to shoot each other, and so I feel like you know it's just it's it's tragic because I would like to see the community do more than just that, and I would like to see the developers for those games, you know, Daisy and Warzy, <laughs> offer more to do in the game other than just run around and shoot people. So. I don't know. I think it's kind it of is a kind of funny though, but it's like on both sides. you almost wonder why is it so? Why are these games so popular when they literally offer nothing? And and the only reason that I and I'm, people are probably asking, well, why are you playing it? You know, why am I playing it? Whatever. It's because really it raises questions, philosophical questions, conversation, debate, and that to me is the interesting aspect of these games. It raises those, you know humanity questions like well would, would somebody do this or that in real life what would be the re repercussion how would you treat another human being and that's the only reason I like because otherwise in terms of gameplay there's nothing here I mean if you were allowed to mod battlefield you could do the same thing okay remove weapons spread around map add hunger and drink mechanic uh, or thirst mechanic and add zombies any any you know, 15-year-old programmer could probably do that. I mean, because, <laughs> and, and and quite frankly, I, I've probably seen better 15-year-old programmers uh, in in regards to some of the stuff I've seen in War Z. Uh, <laughs> Cover me. I'm gonna. Someone saying hi. Who? Where? I'm not paying attention to chat. Hey, how's it going? Hey, how's it going? I think I'm hearing that through mine now. I think I have my Vox turned off or something. I'm not sure. Yeah, I just heard I just heard someone say, "Hey, um, I, they didn't identify themselves as friendly or not." So. Uh oh, there's flares in here. Your favorite. Uh oh. Can't eat them though. Oh, there's a map. Yeah, I, I think uh, I think the to tag on to what you were saying earlier though. Uh, I think that uh, there, there's a very interesting concept. Uh, introduced with the existence of this mod, uh, and I and obviously <laughs> due to its popularity, it's definitely something that people are willing to buy into, to, willing to invest in. And I would like to see it, this idea expanded upon, and not 
squandered by being simply being reduced to PvP deathmatch. Uh, I think it can be more than that. I think it can offer more than that. So that I mean that's the thing. It's not that we don't like PvP necessarily. It's it's just that we don't want to play this game only for that, which is what they have both become. It's not about. It still isn't about the zombies. And I'm my hunger indicator is blinking. By the way, I'm gonna run into this barracks. It's. I want the zombies to still. They need to be. They need to patrol the world in herds. It needs to be like The Walking Dead, where they're roaming in packs looking for food. You're gonna want to come in here. I always. I don't see anything chasing me. Oh, I didn't yeah. mean. I didn't mean to interrupt, but no. You. You've got a. You've got a new toy in this back room. I'll cover you. I need. Is it? Is it food? Back room. No, it's a gun. I need food though. Or else it's gonna be useless. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna open fire on this guy. Just don't don't come into the hallway yet. Roger that. Such a nice toy too, and I'm gonna die of starvation. He's down. Yeah, mine's getting deep red. Uh, let's see. Oh boy. Another smoke grenade. Pick that up just in case. AKM mag on that. Yeah. So there's zero food in here. There's another box mag and another stanag mag. Painkillers. There's a drink in here. Ah, oh, so many goodies in here, but. We're not gonna be around to enjoy them. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know where to find food. Oh boy. Uh, there's another heat pack. I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. Uh, well, let's. Uh, we're gonna have to double time it. So I think that even though we may have our own personal opinions and gripes about the state of the game and the state of the community, <laughs> we're still going to stick around. We're still going to keep our eyes on how this kind of genre develops, how the community evolves, because it could be something really cool. And I think that, you know, a year or two down the road, you know, or, or longer, who, who knows uh, who might, you know, take on the task of creating the next, you know, DayZ, so to speak, you know, the next big iteration in the, in the genre. I mean, that's the thing. It's just funny that I'm waiting for some really larger-than-life AAA... I don't know. Sometimes that's bad, because sometimes when a big developer, you know, takes on the task of making the game you want, it's just, what what's the, what's the catch? You know, let's say EA said, all right, make this game, you know, DICE, make this game, or something, or whatever. What's the catch to that? What are we going to get screwed over on? You know, servers, uh, having to buy DLC for certain things. I mean, right. delays. I don't know. It's just... Uh -oh. it's, it's frustrating because we want these games to be amazing. And it's just simple things that are getting overlooked by people that are supposed to be, you know, game designers. It's like, you know... And I know we're getting chased, but I'm just... We, we can't afford... We just have to run. Unfortunately, <laughs> yeah. all I see is snow. <laughs> yeah, this, this looks bad, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, just, just saying. This, yeah, this is, this is could be very bad. <laughs> but, um... And, you know... I don't mean any... Uh, disrespect to some of these people, but... I've seen, uh, you know, a lot of... Uh, some Some bad... I've seen a lot of community, bad community management from some of the War Z team and how they've treated people and things that they've said in chats and uh, Ventrilo sessions and things like that. And it's kind of disrespectful to, to gamers and, and just humans in general. So it's, it's tough to really want somebody like that to <laughs> succeed. But at the end of the day, it's still just a gamer and you want a good game. <laughs> Yeah. So I still do want it to succeed, but um, you, you want the friendly midget not to die. You, he, he deserves <laughs> to live like the rest of us. Give him a chance, guys. Come on. You know, and I really, I really hope Rocket just makes Daisy stand alone. Him and his team. I really hope they just take this thing and beat pretty much everything on the table. I mean, because if I had to, if I had to. You know, put my bets down on on the on a dev. I'd I'd rather it be them. Just from at least knowing that the guy is a pretty nice guy, 
um, right. from what I've seen so far. <laughs> it's just that I think that he might be a little stubborn in regards to how he wants this game to be um, with certain aspects. Because, as I keep saying, realism is great to a certain extent because uh, there's, there's some things that you just can't mimic in a video game. You can't recreate human emotion and the negative effects. I don't know where to go, man. I was I was popping a heat pack. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm good as far as that. But uh, I'm just it's just anything I can do to. I don't know. <laughs> uh, friend, friendly midget. I guess I need another. We're being in the snow is killing us. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think we're coming out of it a bit. Hold on, I had the Papa heat pack. Okay. I'm out of the snow. I'll backtrack. Just running through the woods. <laughs> I have comp Where'd you go? Oh, there you are. I got you. And that's the thing too. I mean, we're at the again. We're at the very beginning of all these. Whoa. Hello. Be on anything the, around us? I don't know. Be on the ready. I'm trying to see if they have any food on them, because. God, I know. Empty yeah. tin can. Mm -hmm. A little worried about this, but uh, I have a yeah. map too that I picked up. <laughs> Okay. Uh, this one actually shows our location, too. Oh, thank God. Just point us somewhere, man. Just get us out of here. Where did we come <laughs> from, though? That's the thing. I'm not sure where we... I'm, I'm almost positive we just came from either the army base or Objective All. It was one of those two. It had to be. It takes so long to receive the... Where's the road at? We're, we're right. We're on a road. Quite literally. All right. Follow this road. There's... Civilization okay. in this direction. I see what appears to be a comm tower uh, across the way to my right through the trees. Yeah. Follow the road, you say? It's probably going to lead down to there. It'll curve around. Um, let's see. If we go straight. Oh, I mean, we don't have to follow it exactly. We can just cut straight. Follow me this way. Okay. Lead the way. Uh, I have some news that will probably in both excite and incite uh, people. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> I'll be uh, I'll be picking up Black Ops 2 for Xbox uh, in the next few days. So yes, I I, I wouldn't call myself a COD fan. Uh, I have bought the games, I have played them and enjoyed them. I'm not over the moon for them, but I do I am entertained by them, and I am buying it on a console. So. I probably just angered a lot of people. There was like rage. They're like COD console rage. Uh, I think when you told me that, I was like, I don't even know who you are anymore. <laughs> Ground. <laughs> oh, this looks awesome. What is this place? I don't know. We'll probably get shot in the face. Let's see. Happy birthday to the ground. All right, a lot of zombies up front, but it's like I see it. There's a wrecked truck over here. Uh, I'm we'll just going in. Some stuff over there. We're yeah, we're gonna have to explore quickly. Uh, obviously, we want to avoid confrontation, but time is of the essence, so we've got to make it happen. I don't want you passing out with a bunch of zombies around you. This place is brutal. All right, this place has been more of a challenge than Chernarus, just because of the what what was that did i just see a tracer i don't know did you oh or maybe it's an artifact oh it is something oh my god sorry i, had, I almost had a heart attack there's some kind of weird artifacting i'm getting and it was in the form of very narrow white lines and i was like was, is that i couldn't tell if it was a tracer or laser oh, beams oh, it, yeah yep yeah, there it is yep yeah. The zombies, they are learning. There's an engine block over here. It's a revolver in here. Oh, cool. This place is awesome. 
this little city that we're in. I love the, like, the layout. It's like so cool. So interesting. Take this. I wonder how many how many cans of food you ran past that you didn't notice. Probably a lot. You know how people like to point that out. Yeah, that, that tends to happen to me. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to live long. I don't know. Bet. No, don't die. Don't you die. I'm looking, man. I'm furiously looking for, for food for you. Climbing this tower to see what's what. This place is, as I was saying, this place is brutal, man. Just I, th the, the I think I think temperature is food. No, it's a coke. Sorry, sorry, did not mean to excite Son of you. A gun. There is, however, a silenced MP5 up here that I can grab before I die. No, I got the M4. I'm gonna I'm gonna swap it out. Oh wait, it does does it take the same mags? We're gonna find out. No, it does not. But that's okay. It has magazines with it. Okay. Houston problem. Yeah, oh. big problem. Oh, there's an AK up here as well, FYI. Oh, I can climb up again. This is a really tall tower. Climb down here. Yeah, just... <laughs> Alright, what do we got up top here? And More temp soda. Temperature's freaking out. More soda, another AK. I got, got two packs. heat packs up here. I'll grab both of those for you. I'll pop them straight into my backpack so you can grab them when you see me. All right, climbing down. Oh, uh, gotta find the ladder. Find the ladder. Dude, everything is empty here, man. It's like... Oh, well, there's so many... Ah, uh, this is so typical. I mean, all we need is a freaking <laughs> can of pasta or something, and that we're running through an armory to find it. Makes me sad face. <laughs> Looking, looking. At this point, I'm just like full sprinting. Yeah, this Around is. Uh, looking. I can't find anything. No, no! You have to want to live. If only I could eat this tire. Don't give in. <laughs> We're at around the uh, 41 40 minute mark, too. The zombies want you to die. Knife. Cans, empty tins. It's almost like this place has been picked clean. Uh, God, this bloom effect is annoying. I gotta turn it off. It is quite annoying. It's just, it removes the depth of field though when you do it. It's like both settings are intertwined. Still nothing. I don't think there's anything here. Alright. And the nearest... Uh, I'm sure that people are going to want to wanna know, are you going to live? Does he die? Do they find food in time? What happens? Exactly. Well, this is like the... I mean, we're going to have to run to... There's object... All. Yep. There's got to be something is there. Northbound. Northbound. All right. What is a lot your, of what's your location here? Walkers coming into me, Trying but with that, ladies and gentlemen, cliffhanger. <laughs> <laughs> to be continued. Perhaps dun, dun, we'll dun. see you on the next one. As I shake. <laughs> Take care, guys. Farewell.